next thing we're going to do is learn how to store a message into, or a new word into your Words for Life vocabulary. For example, if I wanted to add a food, I could hit eat, and now I have that second row to remember to add words. So once I see the spot that I want to be able to change or program, that's the only first trick is I have to actually see the location where I want to put the new word. So then the next step is after you see the word, the location, you touch the tools key, you hit the setup key, you touch the spot where you want to put it, and then you'll see they're numbered. I don't know why, but I always start with number two, and I spell the word I want in there. In my case, I want the word pizza. And I say OK. Remember the space at the end, otherwise it'll run the words together. So always spell the word and add a space. Say OK. Then go down to change your icon. I hate trying to find it through all these categories, so I always just go to spell the icon to find. And you don't even have to spell the whole word, just the first few letters. P-I-Z, and then I get all my different options for pizza. There's one I like, and then I say, OK. And now when I hit eat, up comes pizza. Pizza. So that's how easy it is to, to add a word. I'll do one more. Names begin here, and I want to add John here. I'll space it apart a little bit to make it easier for the person to learn. So now I start by pressing the Tools key. I hit the Setup key. I touch the spot I want to program. Now I go to number two and I do my shift, give me a capital. J O H N, remember the space. I say OK. Now I go down to change the icon. I use your spell uh, icon to find and I'm going to spell in there man. Say OK. And I get a bunch of different men to choose from. I'll pick this one. And now when I hit name, up comes man. John. So again, the only trick to programming is to touch the location, hit the setup key, or hit this toolbox setup key and touch the location where you want to put the new word. You have to see that empty location before you start this process. All right, I hope that helps you learning how to store new words.